Hello, hello guys, how na day? This is Ezagui TV. And please don't forget to share my video. Follow me on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. I say make I talk about this woman on Agonua na Vina Jennifer. That woman where they stab for her eye during that election time. Uh, we let her come back again with pool of blood. Say she must vote, say her vote must count. Yeah, the woman come out, come talk about her experience, how the thing really destabilize her, and um how she felt that period. Even the scar still even there for her face. The scar of that injury day her face up to now, which I believe say the thing no go come out. When she talk about her experience, talk how politicians come meet her. Tell her sorry, including Mr. P2B, which everybody see that during that time when P2B visit her. So I go like make una just listen to her video and uh, enjoy it. Okay? And uh, please don't forget to share and comment. Um Mrs. Bina Jennifer stay fair. Yeah? experience of the elections you were injured was this mark on your face before now uh, I would I, I I'll say it was an inner anger because I was so determined to to cast my vote to participate in the election very very determined so after the whole incident because it happened before I could cast my vote so going back home after leaving the hospital and I, I saw that voters had reconvened like they, they, they were voting. I felt this anger inside of me, like after all my efforts, because I know what I went through to get my PVC and keep encouraging people to get theirs, that it will now be hard that I wasn't able to vote. As in, it was that for me. I wasn't thinking of anything that I would not vote. So that anger made me go back. Voting was going on and after some time we saw some group of thugs and after a while they started walking down the street. I was sitting down because it was a queue and it wasn't moving well so I couldn't start following. I was sitting down on a bench with other women. Though I, when the line was, the queue wasn't moving, I had to go and make inquiries in front. What was going on? Uh, I, because I noticed that some people were shunting the line, some people were putting their, their political party uh, members to, to, to get uh, that preference to vote for. I was like, this line should move because this thing is not something hard. We should just get done with it. Like me, I went out without even eating. I was really determined and I just want to get it done. So there, was, there, were, there was some resistance though. I just had to go and sit down in my, on the bench. And when I was told that some people that they were allowing, they came from far at least to give them their preference. And some were elderly. So I just sat down, was sitting down, going through my phone. After I saw those dogs leave, they were in, in a group of like 20 persons, if no more than. Shortly, still in that position, all I could remember is a huge impact on my face. And that was it. So that was how I started looking for safety and people were running Elta's Skelter. I just had to walk inside the compound that was used and I was calling for help. People that could look back to see me, they were so scared seeing the blood. People were locking their doses. It was a public uh, compound that they used as the polling room. So Larry, yes. So at that point, it was a woman I recognized her voice. She lives adjacent to my to to be to say it, it happened on my polling unit was on my street. So it was then she 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 was holding an anki. She now had to apply pressure on there and was comforting me that I should wait. Let's look for safety first. We had to start looking for a house to enter because we don't know if those guys were coming after us. So she just pushed the door open and we entered inside the room and I was there bleeding profusely. And when it happened, when I, I had the impact, I had a gunshot too simultaneously. So I was thinking it was 
a bullet injury, have been knocked down by a bullet. So, and the court was so deep. So I was asking them, is it bullets? They said they don't know. I felt I was already dying, like saying my last prayers and also praying for mercy. I was bleeding. They had to first get um, a confirmation that the talks have gone before I could get any medical attention. So after much back and forth, they had to take me to a nurse that lives in close by. She administered them. Um, uh, first aid to stop the bleeding and I was taken to the hospital for suturing and other medication. I've received visits from different political parties but the government per se, I've not heard anything from the government. Yes, I've not. It's only visit by different political groups and individuals. Yes, the public, individuals, but I've, the government, I've not heard anything from the government. Actually, like you said, it's not the lesson to learn from. I don't wish anybody this because I know the trauma I and my family, we, we are still going through, especially my children seeing me with this figured face that day and blood all over my body. I would say it's the God factor. Because even for this courts to heal this way, it is God. I have multiple lacerations. Here I had a deep cut that is connected to my nerve. Uh, I can't really even wash my face properly now up to now. It's God. I would say it's prayers. Everybody should just be prayerful and to, to by God's grace I survived this. And also God knows my determination. He knows my heart. So I think that is why I even survived because it was it was really bad. Uh, I would say we should it, it should not deter us from giving up. Uh, if it is if it is not by God's grace, this it would be would have been worse than this. It, it did not it does not stop me from giving up. I still believe I still believe God would take us there. Yes, I still believe, and I will still do it again.